Have you ever committed yourself to doing something and you wonder right in the middle, should I have really done this? This video is sponsored by Cruiseman's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruiseman's Reviews. Today I've got a product that I'm reviewing and I'm not exactly sure if it's something that really fits this channel. You know I get a lot of requests to review products, to demonstrate products, uh, and if you have a YouTube channel, once you start getting a certain number of subscribers, uh, you will be inundated with these requests, uh, companies wanting you to review their products, and I, I probably say no to 95%, 98% of them, because they don't really fit the uh, the focus of this channel of what we're trying to do here. Uh, and I get a lot of requests for tire, comp uh, tire inflators, compressors, air compressors, things like that. And a few weeks ago, a company reached out to me and they had a product that looked kind of interesting. And I noticed in, in the original email, she kept referring the lady that was, uh, contact me kept referring to this being a product for a truck and she kept saying would you demonstrate this on your truck and i don't have a truck uh, i explained that this is a motorcycle channel and and it's my fault i did not research it enough and uh, now i have and it appears that this product may not really fit this channel because i thought it was a shop compressor that you could use to fill up your tires on your cars, your trucks, your motorcycles, whatever. I do know there's a lot of you out there that own trucks, pickup trucks, especially if you're in Texas or in the South. Everybody here has got a pickup truck. And this is a product that looks pretty cool for that application. Okay, let's get this thing over here and take a look at it. I will tell you, this thing is heavy. This box it comes in. It comes in a nylon carrying bag. With that, you can really see the box. Wow, this thing's <laughs> this thing's heavy. The styrofoam has kind of rubbed onto the uh, nylon case. I guess that could be cleaned off. I'm not sure. It's just you can see here. It's anyway. That's that's just cosmetic. Okay, we open this up. Uh, first thing I see here is a, what looks to be an air hose. And uh, it comes with a really nice, flexible rubber air hose. It's not one of those janky, plasticky ones that you normally get. This thing looks pretty serious. I believe this is 25 feet long. And it even has like a quick, uh, quick disconnect sleeve on here. That's nice. And they do give you a tire gauge uh, for the uh, compressor so that you can, you know, see the tire pressure as you're airing up. And uh, it has a, a release on the back, a little spring-loaded release. So if you need to let a little air out of your tire, you can do that. Okay, this is the compressor itself. It has a like a folding handle and I think the idea behind this is that this is a product that you would keep on your truck you wouldn't necessarily use this in a shop environment I think that's the idea because I don't think it runs on AC I think it only runs on DC power all this. Yes. It basically uh, uses your battery, your 12 volt battery terminals, to get its power. So it is designed for use only on the road. A pretty serious motor. Uh, here we have a. This is that the other end of that quick disconnect so when you're ready to air up you basically connect this to here 
and that gives you a good solid connection and then on the other end you've got your where you screw this in to air up your tire and then this goes on your valve valve stem uh, it feels very uh, substantial I mean it feels like a serious piece of equipment you can see the other side here it has a switch obviously to turn it on and off the only thing left to do is to take this Tozalaz 12 volt air compressor out to the garage and try it out on a flat tire so I'm gonna let the air out of my front tire on our Lexus NX and it's basically a 225 by 65 17 inch tire and we'll see how fast it airs this up Tozalaz claims that this will air up a tire twice as fast and those twin 60 millimeter cylinders should be a big reason now that my tire is completely out of air let's hook this thing up and see how it works it's a good thing that they give you a sturdy handle because this unit weighs almost 24 pounds. And here you can see the DC alligator clips that will hook onto the battery. This is our quick disconnect for the air hose. One word of caution, make sure you cut off these zip ties before you put this in your truck. You may end up out on the road and not have a knife or something to cut those off. Now that 25 foot air hose feels like it's very good quality and I really do like the quick disconnect. I think that's a great feature. So let's go ahead and start the car and get it running before we hook up those battery terminals. Now I also find another one of those little zip ties on the battery terminal cable. So make sure you cut all these off before you put this in the back of your truck or wherever you keep it. So once we have our alligator clips connected to the battery correctly, all that's left to do is plug in the little hose clamp, which is very high quality. It feels very good. And then we simply turn the unit on, which turns on the motor, and it begins airing up the tire. Now I'm going to time this, and the only thing I'm not crazy about is there's not really a way to see how much pressure is in the tire until you turn in the unit off it right now say it shows 70 or 80 pounds of pressure but actually it's much less than that when you turn the unit off you'll see the actual tire pressure that's a common issue with some of these inline pressure gauges here you can see there's about 23 24 pounds of pressure now I stopped the compressor at about 52 seconds and then I checked the tire pressure with my own tire gauge and it was way over 35 pounds which was my target it actually came out to over 40 pounds of pressure and so I ended up having to let some air out to get it down to 35 pounds so their claim that it can air up a 265-65 uh, R16 in about 50 seconds. I don't see any reason to dispute that. I think it probably can meet that or exceed it. Now I did air up this tire with one of my rechargeable air compressors like I carry on my motorcycle and it took over nine minutes to air up this tire. So their claim of two times faster is not really that unreasonable. I think it's probably conservative. When I first got this product in I was thinking of it as just a tire inflator but I think it's more than that. I think this is really aimed at the person that likes to take vehicles off-road. And let's say you want to let air out of all your tires so that you get better traction when you're out in the sand or other environments. And you don't want it to take forever to air those tires back up when you're finished. Of course, it'll air up a flat tire, but this would be perfect to throw in the back of your pickup even for motorcycles if you're going to be out riding on the trails and you just need a fast way to air up your tires after you maybe you've let some air pressure out that i think is the real application for this product so if you're interested in this tozalaz 4x4 air compressor i'll put links in the description of this video and don't forget if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up much appreciated. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews.